So I would definitely do a side of caution, almost pretty much completely avoid the oral administration method, although it's easier. Although, yeah, you just want to heal everything. I think you don't want to freak your body out by flooding your body systemically with BPC all the time. What is up, everyone? It's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is nothing. I don't have anything. Like the video. The spritz is intelligent iron. Hear your noises. All right, today I'm going to be, I guess, throwing some hate on BPC-157. You know, I just want to throw this out there. This has still been going on in my DM box for quite some time, is side effects of BPC-157 that are being underreported in my personal opinion. So let's go into my experience with BPC-157. I've used it twice to heal nagging elbow pain and nagging shoulder pain. I've used the injection. I've been very cautious with my dosing. I did not want to overwhelm the body with BPC-157, and I used the injection method of injecting it as close to the areas that hurt as possible, especially with tendons. This helps promote blood flow, healing, and I'll have Andrew throw up a bunch of rapid fire mice studies that you can read into in the description below if you want to nerd out on that. BPC-157 has recently in the underground switch to oral administration as well and you would think okay you know this is fine because bpc 157 pretty much originates in the stomach intestines and i'll have andrew source that as well so you think okay you know you're just supplementing more bpc is one of those ones that can actually survive oral administration and it's like all the other peptides you have to inject subcutaneous injecting sucks everyone hates getting a syringe out and injecting when they could just pop a tablet and if it's you know going systemic then you know the injection theoretically is going systemic too so what's the big deal well it seems like there's crazy reactions to doing oral bpc 157 and it seems like people are just like oh i'm like andrew i'm gonna be wolverine i'm just gonna pop bpc every i'm just regenerating and healing all the time and it's like i really have seen it multiple times work out with crazy almost pssd pfs side effects like ahadana emotional blunting sex drive getting fucked like i don't know what's going on but the side effects are extreme and i'm just thinking like man you know i've used bpc 157 one or two times i've actually used it a bunch of times on my friends to help heal their shoulders like place a needle right and everything and i've never played around with the oral administration i have some i will not be playing around with the oral administration okay it seems like I don't know, something freaks out, whether that be the immune system, it's interacting with some cascade, I have no idea, but it seems like flooding the body constantly with systemic oral BPC-157 can lead toward a bad reaction. And people are just using this as a daily supplement oral administration and probably creeping it up. They're probably noticing healing benefits and boom, one day some syndrome happens of something does this, that, that, boom, something's messed up and they're left in this, you know, disease state like I was with the lion's mane. BPC has no data on, you know, these side effects being reported even from the underground, just testing pool of people taking it. Other than I'm getting DM like, hey, Ryan, are you gonna take a shot at BPC-157 and like expose it? And I'm just, I don't know, you know, I'm pretty tired of like throwing heat on all these supplements and compounds. I think I said my shit with the PFS, PSSD people and BPC is definitely a very useful peptide. I've used it. I've never taken it orally and I think it revolves around you flooding massive amounts of it systemically into your body oral administration versus a localized spot. So I would definitely do a side of caution almost pretty much completely avoid the oral administration method although it's easier 
Although, yeah, you just want to heal everything. I think you don't want to freak your body out by flooding your body systemically with BPC all the time to a point where, based on the side effects, if my theory of the AR over expression is true, where like AR over expression means the AR over multiply for some reason, even with Accutane, it seems to be that as well, is the AR over multiply for some reason. Once they over multiply, they stop working correctly, stuff stops binding to them then your brain realizes the overall amount of AR that are actual functional is much less and down regulates everything and that's a horrible place to be in and it would be really bad if BPC puts you in that spot but that's not going to stop the TRT clinics from prescribing oral administration I just wanted to throw that out there that's like I've used injectable you kind of want to use it on like, you know, one injury, local injection, pulls the blood to that area, very localized shirt. Sure, you can make the argument that, hey, Ryan, some of it's going to go systemic and, you know, I just want to take it orally and do the whole oral administration. I don't want to have to pull out needles every day when I'm already doing this shot, this shot, this shot. I don't want to add it. I just want to pop some BPC in the morning that seems to be from my dm box where things are going wrong is that you're flooding the body constantly with bpc 157 systemically everywhere and that's causing some sort of issue right so if you're going to use bpc just get the syringes out just put it localized be very sparingly with the dosage that's another thing is like a lot of people think like oh you're not using enough bpc first off people react very wildly to bpc some people react very well other people it doesn't get much healing like i feel like some people think like if you have a fresh injury or a tendon issue going on that's going to speed it up if you have this nagging injury that's been there forever and it's basically almost like longevity wear and tear jacking up the bpc dose in my opinion isn't going to do any more healing you just want to keep that into consideration that this peptide is available in the stomach in a certain amount and flooding it orally systemically seems to cause issues in certain outlier individuals with the reactions being very serious. I would suggest if I were to use BPC-157, I would inject it locally, inject it sparingly, and just overall heal my injury and then cut it out. I feel like people have added BPC into like the Wolverine constantly healing stack. You know, there's a shit ton of fucking hype around it and they're just orally popping it every day, every day, every day, every day, every day, something goes wrong, boom. You know, I've definitely seen that in my DM box about four or five separate times since coming to the forefront with the PFS shit. I've really got a lot of people like, hey, you want to talk about BPC? It did this to me. Nobody's going to believe me. But if you say it, maybe people will take a side of caution with BPC. I'm here to say I've used BPC once or twice and I've used it on tons of my friends with none of these outlier reactions. Same goes for the fucking lion's mane. Tons of people take lion's mane every day. But I do think injecting it localized really mitigates the risk than orally adding it in and systemically jacking it up throughout the body don't do that inject it locally use it how it was originally intended for in my opinion less is more with bpc i know other people are going to say otherwise hey you're not using enough that's why it's not working i just think less is more you know, BPC has its benefits. It's very good at healing nagging injuries, fresh injuries, really getting yourself back in the game. It's not a daily supplement that you can just rely upon and flood your body and apparently interact with some sort of, you know, cascade. Something's going on there. We'll probably never truly know, but I just want to throw that out there for some education and harm mitigation. I will see you guys in my next video.